We just did a DIY thrift shop furniture flip on this old door and we turned it into a clock with a basket. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do it to do it, build it or make it. So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're gonna harness the power of 1.21 gigawatts, go back in time and flip a door. <laughs> how are we doing it back in time? Well, the door is old. The door is old. Yes, so I have been wanting a an antique door, a shabby chic looking door to put in our front room so that we could add door rounds, take pictures of door rounds, hang it on Actually there. Actually on a door. On a door, right. I just wanted it to be a nice visual. Showcase then, it in its native environment. Yes, <laughs> but indoors. But indoors. <laughs> but then I also saw in a magazine uh, one of the farmhouse magazines where someone had taken a shabby chic door and turned it into a clock. So I'm thinking I want to do both. Ooh. I want one side of it to be used to hang door rounds and I want the other side to be a clock. And I think we can kind of use both visuals in our front studio. You love a dual purpose. I do. Step one, we're gonna find a door. Gonna do a little shopping, little thrift shop shopping. What, what, what? <laughs> so Courtney and I went on a little shopping trip over to our local thrift store. And you know, it's a summer day, it's hot outside. And who doesn't wear sandals or flip flops in the middle of summer? So I march to the thrift shop, we're looking around, I tell her what I'm looking for. She goes, oh, they're out back or it's actually on the side, uh, on a porch outside, you can find them out there. Well, let me show you what that looked like. Step two, we're gonna clean it up. She's a dirty girl. <laughs> she is a dirty girl. She sat outside on that porch for I don't know how long. And we don't know how old this paint is. So anytime you're doing a furniture flip, when you're using old chipped paint, you really should be testing for lead. So we have this 3M lead check test kit. Super simple to use. We just crack the tube, rub it on the door, and what? Red means lead. Yes. And then I did the second one and tested the green paint as well. Red means lead. <laughs> so we know we're gonna have to... To wear respirators from here on out. Mask up. Yes, you don't want paint chips, lead chips, lead dust getting anywhere. You don't wanna breathe those in. You don't wanna ingest any of that. No, that is the last thing I need. It is. So the first step of cleanup for this door, we're gonna wanna get the loose paint chips off of the door. We don't want to have those chips flying around. We just want to gently scrape off anything that's super loose before we go into our cleanup. Then we're going to vacuum up all of those chips and throw them right into the dumpster. gonna use some Murphy's oil soap and a bucket of water and try to start rubbing some of that dirt off. Yes, we're just going to use a sponge. Uh, we did actually use the green scratchy pad of the sponge because that did help get some of the dirt, the really stubborn dirt off. But our star but, of the show. Yeah, the superstar is Magic Eraser. This did the best job. Now we paint or <laughs> shellac. Because our door has this lead paint on it, you'll definitely want to either paint over it to seal that lead paint, or in our case, we want to keep the shabby chic look. So we're going to seal it and make sure encapsulate any of that lead paint to make sure there's no dust particles in the air. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this quarter inch MDF over to the Glowforge to cut out some numbers for our clock face. 
Inside the Glowforge app, I'm just gonna use the thick draft board settings for my quarter inch MDF. Then we're gonna paint these black or tricorn. Then we're gonna find the center of our door. So we laid out our numbers and where we think they should be. We're gonna create even spacing. We're gonna add a little blue tape before we drill our hole for our clock motor. The tape is to try and keep the wood from splintering during the drilling. We're using a 5 16 inch drill bit to drill that hole. We can use the hole to find center between each of the four numbers. We're gonna use our Starbond thick glue to glue each of the numbers down directly to the door. We're gonna go ahead and add our little shelf. I found this at Hobby Lobby on sale. What was it, 40% off? So it was a bargain. And then it already had brackets for hanging. So we just added two little quarter inch screws. Super simple to install. And lastly, we're back to add our clock hands. Time to give it a hand. <laughs> What do you think? Have you ever done a furniture flip before? Have you worked with lead paint before? What was your experience? How did you seal it? I think the shellac worked fine. I'm able to rub my finger over the chip pieces and, it, and it's not moving, so good job painting, babe. <laughs> I think it looks great. This is exactly what I was hoping it would turn out like, and I love the shabby chic look. That's the look I was going for. I think it's gonna look great in our front workshop space. Yeah, I like the tritone paint color here. <laughs> Although I wish we could do something with these uh, these hinges because they're pretty decorative. And cool. You just ripped that thing right out of there. Kind now of let me out. show you the back. The back still, so this is very deep inset in the front. The back is, has a, like little to no distressing on it. I mean, it looks pretty good. There is no chipped paint on the back. So our plan is to hang a door hanger on the, on the front and then hang a uh, door round right here and then display that. So I think it's gonna give a great, it's gonna be dual purpose and I think it's gonna do a good job of both pieces. I already tested it. The door round does cover the clock, <laughs> the clock motor. <laughs> Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. We had a great call last night, although uh, it snuck up on us, our Zoom call. Yeah, yeah. Snuck was, up on us. Third Wednesday comes quick. <laughs> but again, I mean, we gathered a whole notebook of tips and tricks just from you guys. So thank you again, and we'll share all of those tips back out to everybody. Well, it looks like we're about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it and make it. Don't or even think about it. We'll see you the week before because we're gonna go back in time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't balance this thing. Yeah, that's what I thought you were about heavy. to say. <laughs> Too heavy. I'm out. <laughs>